Alright guys, welcome to another Hon Channel video. Um, I decided to do a quick video today just on the basics of warding if you're a support. So uh, pretty much where you want to be uh, putting down some wards at the beginning of the game and then more in the later in the, and later on in the game depending on how the game's going and whatnot. So at the moment I've just bought some speed items so I can move around really fast and a whole bunch of wards. I'm just in practice mode and I'm just going to show you a few ward spots um, that you should know uh, when you're playing a support, uh, when you're beginning out. Uh, obviously, with wards, you can you can get a lot more creative with them and put them in all kinds of different places. Um, and these are just some of the basic ones that you can do. But they're they're very situational. If you know that people are coming a certain way, or or you know you're getting ganked from a certain spot, you can always just throw a ward wherever. Uh, wards in lanes, just at the other end of a lane, so you can see what's happening. Wards just behind towers, all, all those kind of things. Um, but right now, I'm just going to show you a few of the basic things that you should be doing um, as a support. So what I'm going to oh, do is I'll, I'm going to start off at the beginning of the game. And first off, I want you to pretend I'm, I'm Hellborn, not Legion. Now, one of the first things that you, you're going to probably want to do is what's called warding the pull spot. Oh, now, this here, this camp down here and also uh, the camp up here on the, the, the top side. They're called the, um, a chorus of they're called the camps. We call them the pull camps or camps that you can pull because you can actually pull the creeps, aggro hey, the creeps listen. down into your lane. So you can pull them down here and then you can, you can get them to oh, attack your own, time. like your creep and uh, kill off your creep wave Lots so that the long. enemy doesn't get that creep wave or that experience. But we'll talk to that, talk about a that a little bit more. Actually, I might give you violence. a little bit of a demonstration pretty, pretty easily. I can just spawn some creeps right now. I, I can hear you. stack this camp quickly before this creep get here, maybe. Oh, that was Hell bad monotone. timing. We'll do it next wave. The so I'm stacking the camp the at the 53 second, or anywhere between 53 and 55 I seconds, or 56 you. seconds. I can attack that camp, and it's going to stack up with, with another one, and we're going to miss that one. Oh, I probably could have done it. But anyway, we've got another creep wave coming right now. Um, so because I've double stacked the camp, oh, you always want to double stack the camp when you're pulling into lane, by the way, just as a quick note. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attack this guy. I'm going to get him to follow me down into lane. Waltzing and as you can see now, these creep are going to go over there and start attacking I hear this one. You. And what's going to happen is the creep wave is going to get killed off. Waltzing along. So you'll see here, you can... Hey, listen. You can help it along the way too. Um, like when they get below half health, you want to keep your keep your um your stack there. So this means that the enemy doesn't get these creep; they miss out on all this experience, um, and you get control of the lane because obviously without this creep wave, the one the next wave is going to get to the tower. You can see they're already pushed back up the tower, rather way down the lane like they are here on the other side. So that's called pulling and pulling your lane. Now, um. I'm just going to kill off all the creeps again, just kill them and not spawn them anymore. So what you can do and and is ward this camp because as long as there's something in the camp, it won't stack. So what you can do is you can put a ward down in the camp, just like this, and uh, the camp won't stack. Now, it has to be anywhere inside the circle of the camp. Now, the circle of the camp is kind of, if you follow my mouse, it goes up and around the back and around down here and out the front here, like a, like a... A pretty much a, a circle. So the ward, the ward can be anywhere. It can be in the trees off to the side like I this. And it can also be around the back of the camp, just behind the trees, somewhere violence. like here. So you get vision um, behind the the camp. Right, just like that. You get vision there. And that, that'll also block the camp. Um, now one thing you're going to also want to do as a support a is um, use violence. rev wards to get rid of the other team's wards. And on that note... Uh, when you're using a rev ward to get rid of the pull Walking ward, you've got to be on. very careful that when you put it down, it's outside where the uh, spawn range is of the camp. So I sometimes you're going to you. be unlucky with that. So just like you might think they've got the ward at the back, so you're going to put your on. rev ward out here, and uh, you'll be able to you'll get that ward. That's fine. The one in the trees, you're probably going to need the courier to come over so you can spot I it from the air. Um, but you might miss and this ward Walking in the middle of the camp. On. As you can see, it's out of range for this ward. So if you're getting creative with your ward spots uh, and putting them a little bit unusual, maybe in the a trees over here, um, the other team won't be on a counter. Now, in the 1500 bracket, I can honestly tell you, maybe one in a hundred games, they counter your ward. Um, it's probably only me playing support that's countering it. So, uh, 
you probably don't need to stress I a little bit too you. much. So that's the first thing you should do, be doing right at the start of the game. Running down here with your lane partner and warding the, the pool, because obviously opposite team. So if you're the Hellborn, you're running down and warding this camp. And if you're Legion, you want to be running up and warding this camp. And it's the same fire. thing up here, which I'll run up there quickly and show you, because I do have a lot of speed right now, movement speed. A to I can run up this very quickly. I hear so you. if you're the Legion, you want to come up here and you'd put the ward. And the same thing again, Walking depending on where you put the ward is what kind of vision you're going to get. You can put it in the trees to give you no you. vision, but harder for them to counter. Or you can put it behind the, the wall here so that um, you have some vision, if I'm out of the way, of what's coming up the ramp to maybe gank you. But also, there's an advantage of putting it on this front side, somewhere like here, because you can see in the lane, I just up in the you. lane, so you can see if someone's coming that way to gank you. So, Walks it really depends on where you think you're going to get ganked from, or what's going to suit you best. But again, obviously, I you can put it in the trees you. so they can't find it, and all this will stop the, the neutral Hell stacking. Monotone. So that's the rune ward that you should be putting down right at the start of the game. The other ward that you should be putting down at the start of the game, or before the two minute mark, because you only get two wards at the start of the game, uh, and as a support, you should really be buying both of them. Or if you have two supports, one each, maybe. Uh, and that's the rune ward. Because we haven't really talked about runes, but um, runes spawn right here at the top of the, can uh, top of the river and another one at the bottom of the river every two minutes. And your mid players really want to wants to control those runes. So you want to ward up somewhere so you have vision of the rune. Now at the top, here's some of the most popular places to put the ward. Now, if you're um, Legion, this is probably what you're going to do. I you can put it on this you. hilltop right here, and that gives you vision. Now, one thing to note, if you're putting it on this top, um, if you push it all the way back here, you're also going to block this creep camp fire. as well. So it won't be able to... Oops, hey, see, listen. Try stack it now. 55 second mark, 58, 59. Hopefully that works. close enough. There you go, the camp um, didn't stack because that ward's too close to the camp. So that's another great spot to be putting your ward of sight. Um, it still gives you vision of the rune, which is what you need, but it also blocks that camp, especially if they have a jungler, that's very handy. Now the spot you can also put it is just up here on this, this ledge right here. Right on the very ledge where the trees are, that's another good spot. I've also heard rumours that you can put it here and that'll give you vision of the rune. I'm not too sure at all, I'll have to kill this one and do a test to see, can I... Kill, kill, a prey to and I'll kill this violence. one. No, it doesn't. There's a spot here somewhere. Someone was telling me uh, the other day that you can put it behind this tree and it'll give you vision of the root and also block that camp. But anyway, I would just stick with the one that I know a works, banging it right there. Violence. I'll put up these other runes just so you can always see on the map the green dots to tell you where these runes are. Now another thing too, you should always be trying to counter these wards. You. Now not many people, you can also put it up on this this ledge as well, that'll also give you vision, but that's very rarely where people put it. Uh, you'll generally see it on this side because you want to see if anything's coming up this ramp. So you'll generally see them on this side. So it's a good idea if you've got a rev ward to maybe, to see with your rev ward you can go, alright I think they've got it somewhere. One of those two, or the one at the top. So that rev ward will give you vision of, of the one, if it's up top, and, and those ones down there. Always kind of work out where the edge of your your square is, just so you can get that all covered. But you can always just put your rev ward down here, or something like that. So that's where your, uh, your first runes. Um, now if you're on the other side of the map, so running down here, um, there's a few spots you can put the ward um, to see the rune. Now one, if you're on the legion, and you want to... Um, see I entry to the jungle you. this ward is perfect it gives you vision of the rune down here Hell and also gives you all the vision of anything entering your jungle so that's a really good ward along. another good counter counter gank ward is by putting the ward just you. up here on the ledge edge it gives you all this vision of anything coming up behind your lane Walks and again along. also vision of the the rune ward another spot you can put it is right I here hear it, whoops it gives you vision of the uh the war of uh, the rune and it also blocks this camp spawning just like at the top by putting it here you can you can block that camp it does give you less vision if anyone's ganking you because it only really gives you a thin slither up here and a thin slither down here so it doesn't really give you the vision of the wards here and the wards here um, but it, but it's uh, uh, another good spot if you want to block that camp maybe if they have an, a jungler another popular spot is somewhere on this ledge be it here Walking or along. at the back here uh, you'll generally find them putting it at the front I so if you're rev warning you. and also some people just throw it on the ledge right here 
Um, so if you're rev warding, your rev ward's probably either going to be here or a rev ward here. Upgrade. So you can see their wards and get rid of them. That's the two most common spots to rev ward. Now, these are the wards that you're putting out at the start of the game. After that, um, the, the first couple of minutes, um, well, first beginning of the laning phase, you want to keep these wards up. And it's really good if you can get wards on both runes, if you really can, just so you can see if anyone's ganking up and down the river. But um, there's a few more wards you can put out if you're dual laning. So say you're dual laning mid, it's always a good Don't idea to try along. ward up the enemy's hill because you can't see up the hill. So you'll see popular, you. popular ward spots either on this side somewhere or on Won't this side somewhere. Along. Not exactly there, that might be too close to the tower. Let's put on right on the edge. <laughs> um, that way uh, you can see up that hill Won't even if you're not along. up the hill. So th these are called lane wards and you can also put lane I'm wards um, up uh, if you're the Hellborn Won't team, you can put along. the wards maybe somewhere here. Oops, Hell my bad. Apologies. <laughs> if I could put it on the hill right there. Uh, or again, you. you can throw one down on the other side. Oh, I forgot to mention, another popular Won't ward for seeing the rune is right here. Because this Hell one, monitor. if you're Legion, can see up this I ramp to your Ancients. So if people want to farm the Ancients. Um, and it also does see the rune. So right on that, that little ledge right there. Now another thing you can do is ward the ancients by just chucking a ward What's in the tree so the ancients can't respawn. Um, that's always handy. And you can do it on the hellborn side. Now once the game moves on a little bit more, you want to put up a few more maybe aggressive or defensive wards. So we'll talk about those in the legion jungle. So defensive if you're legion or aggressive if you're hellborn. One is a, a general jungle ward and that's pretty much right here in the middle I of the jungle. Um, it gives you good vision of anyone uh, moving around the jungle. Um, and again, you probably want a counter ward around here if you, if you know that they're, uh, they're, they're moving through your jungle or, you, or they're warded your jungle. Um, so that's a, a very good ward. Okay. Another great ward when the game's going a little bit further on Hell is warding up on this ledge. So we keep running around here. Warding run up on this hill. You. So it gives you a lot of vision uh, around uh, the bottom and the top sides. So this is another once, you know, this tower's maybe killed or, or is, is, is getting pressured. Uh, this is a good spot to have another ward right on, right on top Won't of this hill. And you can get to it depending where you place the ward. Um, you can actually ward from that side. You don't need to run no all the way around. Monotone. So that's another great ward spot. Waltzing along. Um, another really good ward spot later on in the game is right here. On this little ledge. Oops, I missed completely. Violent. This is actually a really hard one to hit sometimes. Yes, there we go. Oh, right on the little monitor. ledge. See, because the trees can be in your way when you're trying to do it. You're like, oh, damn trees. Um, right on this ledge violent. here, because it gives you good vision out here into in this unison. the Congor pit, so in case they're doing Congor. And you can also just put a ward right outside Walk Congor to defend that. Or inside the Congor pit, maybe up on this ledge to keep I the vision of if they're you. doing Congor. So that's a good ward for later in the game. Walks Another along. good uh, ward, just like the one on the hill over here for later on in the game on the Legion Afraid side, is on top of this violence. head over here. Because it gives you a lot of vision around uh, this secondary tower here. So you can see it go up, you can see all these pathways and everything around I here. So that's you. another very good ward. Another good ward later in the game, if your Hellborn is Hell somewhere monitor. down here on this ledge. Um, you can see if you're starting to take this tower, you get some vision behind the tower I and you can see, um, see what's going on. So these are all the good wards I on the Legion you. side. You can see with all these down, I can pretty much see everywhere on the Legion side of the map. So they're all handy wards. So let's run over onto the Hellborn side and do the same thing. Hell so later in the game wards, one great spot is right here. Um, it gives I you vision up you. and down this ramp. Uh, you'll also see people putting one here, which gives you vision coming in, in and out of these two ramps and up to the room. So that's a good ward right there. Now another great one, Walsing just pretty along. much the same as this one sitting on the hill down here, is one sitting on the hill up here. So this you. gives you good vision again behind the secondary tower and out the Walsing base and also along. up the, the two ramps. So that's a very good ward as well. I hear You'll you. also find people um, warding the jungle in random spots like Hell here, but I've never warded there to be honest. Um, they're not really good wards. And you can I also do the good old lane wards by putting wards behind the tower up here so you can see Hell if anyone's coming to gank you. Um, this is pretty much all the wards I really recommend on the hell wards on, on this on. side. There's not really anywhere else I would consider warding. You can always move this one around a bit more. Some people like to ward right here. Um, it's okay if they have a jungle, but you're only really seeing one camp, but I'd much prefer the one up on the hill. So if we cruise around on the other side, oh, the tower's going to attack me. No! Energizer away. 
monitor. Another good spot is uh, Mixing along. up on this little hill. Anywhere where there's hills is quite handy. You can see it's pretty much the same as this ward. It's a good defensive ward if you're Hellborn or a good aggressive ward if you're Legion. Uh, so that's another Hell great ward spot. Monitor. And some people like to ward to see if they're doing the Ancients on the Hellward side um, by putting a ward somewhere Hell up there. So as you can see, that gives you vision pretty much into the I to the Hellborn camp. You can move it across a little bit more, like right there, and it does give you vision all the way to the um to the ancients. So that's a, another good ward. Waltzing along. And pretty much, uh, these are all the great wards. Another good spot um, when you're starting monitor. to really push into the enemy's base, it's always good to have wards up in their base. So you violence. can sometimes say run around here, trying not to get attacked Hell by the towers. So you can put wards up in places like this. Ooh. I hear like you. this, so that you can see uh, when you're pushing up into the hill, it gives you vision um, behind oh, where you're monitor. pushing up into the hill from. So again, uh, places Walks for rev wards, along. obviously. Anywhere where you're warding, uh, or you think they're warding, you should I be rev warding you. as well. So places like here, it's very common to have rev wards. Um, you'll find that this ward is one that gets fought over Walks a lot, to be along. honest, with um, getting countered and warded. Now you can always be more creative with your wards, um, say they're countering them a lot, um, you can always try somewhere new, just so that they, they can't see them. But these are the general rough places where you'll find uh, most people warding, where, where as a support you should be warding, and where you should be counter warding. You should be trying to do this as often as you can. Um, Spending a lot of your money as the as the bitch ward support, if that is is your role, I you'll find you. uh, you won't have much more than boots, missed investments, and Waltzing a whole bunch along. of wards spent down. But yeah, that's the uh, basic guide to warding. I I hope that helps you out as a support. Um, and yeah, have a good time playing Hon as a support because uh, it is a good role helping your team out. So cheers, thanks very much.